Welcome to La Vida in Atlanta. This is the health and wellness show. My guest today brings a lot of wisdom, a lot of experience, and has traveled over 20 years in his business. He has trained from entertainers, uh, figure sports, the average person, including my son, Miguel. He has made an appearance on television, uh, such as CNN, um, on. Good Morning America, and many other films. My guess is called Super Trainer. He has certifications of many different organizations and associations in the school brings a lot of credentials. He's going to share with us the fitness well. His company is called The Ultimate Body. His name is Carlos Jordan. Please help me to introduce my guest today. Well, thank you, Rafi, for having me on your show. Appreciate it. I want to ask you, Carlos, what set you aside from all these trainers here in Atlanta? You have a name, you have a reputation, you deal with so many professional people around. Tell me and tell my audiences um, what set you aside. The first thing is it's not about me yeah. and it's not about the money and it's a passion, I love doing it. I eat, sleep, this particular f industry, the fitness industry have not only changed my life, it has impacted so many other people's mm -hmm. lives. So I believe anything that's empowering you to give somebody something they never had is, is mm -hmm. God's will. And the change that I've seen from people's confidence, from the change in just of their bodies and the, mm -hmm. the things that they went through during the course of the time they were with me, um, it just motivated me just that much more to give back so I can consider this being a part of my legacy. Well, uh, let me say this to you. As you have going through the fitness, the world of fitness, the physique, I, I, I believe that you have going into uh, beyond that, which is the, the, the mind, and you have going to a spiritual. So you actually encompasses everything, even though uh, your company is concentrated in physical fitness. That's correct. I believe, I believe that as well. That's when I preach and say, put that energy back into yourself. Mm -hmm. And what better way than putting energy back in yourself than taking care of yourself? Mm -hmm. So it puts you in a peaceful state, state of mind. And when you're going through your walk in life, it makes everything just mm -hmm. that much easier to mm -hmm. deal with. You're not as stressed, you, you're calm. Mm -hmm. It's just like for myself, I know martial mm -hmm. arts. But when I work out, it keeps mm -hmm. me very calm because I'm capable of knowing what I'm capable of. It keeps me very humble. And most of the people I'm around, it, it doesn't make us vain, it makes us confident. Mm -hmm. And most people take, a person take care of the body, the vein is, uh, for a lot of people that I'm around, that's, that's not the point. The point is just feeling good at the end of the day. I spent a few minutes with you talking to you. Yes, sir. And looking into your background. Um, you seem like you're a very passionate man and you have, you carry your purpose every day. Um, and that really uh, moved me, you know, and, and that's the reason why I brought you as my guest today, for you to share uh, this passion with people here. Um, and I want to take you into some of the steps in fitness uh, wh what are the things, tell me, what are the number one things that you do with people, you know, that, like myself, if I go there and I say, hey, Carlos, please uh, show me uh, what I start, what I should start first or second, uh, I, I guess you have a program for them, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, the first thing I do is, is paint a vision. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a vision or a goal, 
you, you don't know what you're working towards. If a person came in that was heavy at mm -hmm. one time, right. then I say, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring your waist in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to enhance your lats. I'm going to mm -hmm. round your shoulders off. Mm -hmm. I'm going to enhance your glutes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring your hamstrings out. So I'm talking about designing a total different package. I'm talking about mm -hmm. making you look better now than you ever have looked. Mm -hmm. making you look better in your 40s than you did mm -hmm. in your 20s. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking about body reconstruction, but doing mm -hmm. it on something that's old-fashioned, hard work, mm -hmm. dedication, and patience. And once you instill that in their minds, then mm -hmm. they have something to work towards. Then when they get that, it's, it's so empowering because they never thought they can have it. Wow, that's awesome. I believe that <laughs> I need some of that, uh, some of those techniques. Uh, tell me, health-wise, uh, name me a few benefits that we get from exercising. Oh, low cholesterol, uh, helps put bone marrow on, weight mm. resistant training, mm. um, uh, hypertension, mm. you, you know, it, it curves that as well. Mm. It's uh, keep your, keeping your body fat down, mm. you're keeping your cardiovascular up for heart conditioning. Mm. It's just a number of things. I mean, the, the benefits of health and fitness is mental, it's just mm. not physical. Mm. So if you're in a great uh, mental mind mm. mindset, mm -hmm. when you go to work, mm. it's displayed at work as well. Yeah. I will tell you about my personal experience uh, is that if I don't exercise daily, I feel uh, lacking of energy. I feel ragged. I feel I don't feel that good. I can see the differences when I go to the gym, okay, and I exercise. And I, I still don't know how to exercise in the correct way because I would love to have somebody like you to teach me all the steps, okay, and know exactly what I'm doing, mm -hmm. the coordination, uh, the, the plan, the goals, like you said, you need to be willing to want it, mm -hmm. you know, you, you need to be uh, teachable, you know, and receptible to that conditioner. Uh, so therefore, um, uh, you know, I will say that you, you must be a man with patience, you know, because it's just like a step-by-step -step process, day-by-day, -day, but I know, Carlos, that I feel good exactly. when I exercise, okay? So, I, so everything is energy in life, mm -hmm. okay? Oh and yeah. that's, and I wanted to ask you, if we have to have distribution of energy in the body, like we need nutrition, I would say, well, in, in 100%, Nutrition will bring us, what, maybe 35% out of the 100, right? Because mm -hmm. we need uh, food to, to sustain ourselves, okay? And then we need the uh, mental food, the spiritual food. Mm -hmm. We can put it probably about 70%, uh, I would say. Would you say that the fitness can bring us 25 to 30%? Am I correct saying that? Would you elaborate on that? Um, for the food part mm -hmm. of it, I'll say for change in my mm -hmm. industry, mm -hmm. the food is probably, is really high, it's like maybe 80%. The work, you can change just from eating food alone. Mm -hmm. Some people don't even work out, but they eat correctly, but mm -hmm. they still make changes. Mm -hmm. And uh, without the proper nutrition, it's just like if you come in a gym, you work mm -hmm. out, mm -hmm. and you leave the gym and you go to McDonald's. It's not going to work. I don't care right. how hard you work. Right. You're going to always take backward steps. The the mental part, I'll tell you what, I'll say f it's 50-50 because when I don't work out and I still eat correctly, I yeah. still am not in a good place because yeah. I'm servicing everybody else and I'm making sure everybody else's body is tight, but I'm not taking care of my own. Yeah. And that can be a little depressing So sometimes. what you're saying is that the food is part of the training, the food that you eat, and, and, and have the physical exercise, they kind of, it's an integration of the food, the mental and the spiritual, everything kind of fit in so well. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Okay, how often do you, do you train somebody? What is your recommendation in seven days a week to come to the, to, to, to the gym? Uh, it depends on the person. Yeah. I would recommend bare minimum three days a week. Three days a week? Yeah, most people, if they can afford it, they will be there more than three days a week. And mind you, it's never been about money for me. If mm. I was if I was retired, 
uh, I would take 10 other people that are really dedicated yeah. in this fitness industry and just train them for free yeah. just to make changes. That will be my hobby. Okay. Somebody like myself, I go there seven days a week. But I don't talk to and mingle with people. And I go there for half an hour. Please help me, Carlos. Tell me if I'm doing something correct well, by I going seven days a week. <laughs> I don't think you need seven days a week. I think, and then you say you do a half an hour. Mm -hmm. If you did, uh, say for instance, if you did three days a week. Mm -hmm. So you did three days a week. Uh, one day be a full upper. Mm -hmm. Next day, the Wednesday be a full lower. Yes. And then your Friday is half and half. So that means you hit every body part twice that week. Mm -hmm. But you're still doing your cardio. You're still doing yeah. those things right. with that as well and your strength yeah. conditioning. So, yeah, yeah, seven days is a bit much. You know, when I go to gym, I see so many different machines in there. I'm so confused, you know, about all these different machines. Please uh, help me to uh, my audiences. Uh, tell me which of the machines are the best? Just give me five, then give 10, you know. It's, it's not one machine that is best, it's the machine that is best for you. So anything that's in, like say for instance, if you came yes. in and you had yeah. a, yeah. you gotta be in yeah. and out, mm -hmm. I would say do a back movement, mm -hmm. a front lat, I would say do a top pictorial, incline, I would say do a shoulder press. Mm -hmm. I would say do a tricep push down, which is with the rope, mm -hmm. I would say do a bicep curl. So you have covered everything that's on the top portion of your body mm -hmm. within that segment. And then if you hit three rounds of that, <laughs> then you're out of the building. You go from one movement to the next movement. And then the course of that action, mm -hmm. you're actually burning more calories because you're supersetting. Mm -hmm. That's it's a foreign language for me. It's supersetting <laughs> just going from one <laughs> movement to the next. <laughs> All you say, uh, my audience, do you really understand <laughs> what Carlos was saying? Okay, let's go back to uh, the, the name of your company, Ultimate Bodies by Carlos, mm -hmm. okay? How do you feel that today? Uh, you got a little older, mm -hmm. mature, you know, and you're probably in different uh, life setting, I would say, yes. lifestyle today. Mm -hmm. Please. Um, I thought about Explain changing that. the name, Ultimate Bodies yeah. by Carlos Wellness. Okay. So on the end of it, because like I said, I, I don't think that we just take mm -hmm. care of the body. I think we mm -hmm. take care of the, the mental and the spiritual as, as well. So I think you get the full component of wellness because I've had people come through with uh, come to me that has went through the death, divorce, mm -hmm. breakups, you know. So um, when, you, when you're dealing with these people, you're not yeah. only their trainer, you become yeah. their counselor too, you become their friend. Right. You know, you become their motivator. Yes. Whatever it takes to get through life, yeah. you become that person. You 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 know that I do uh, wellness uh, events. I do now. Yes, I yes. do wellness events, and 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 encompasses encompasses uh, pretty much everything from the doctors, from the int integrative medicine, um, uh, holistic. Uh, and uh, even the psychics, the spirituals, it includes everything, very much. Uh, today, doctors are waking up because they know that they need to integrate medicine with holistic and nutrition, mm -hmm. you know. And that is pretty much what you have come to that realization, you know, that you are far beyond. You are growing just the physical, the, the, the physical fitness. Yes, it's part of the whole process, but you want to have a more complete. Am I making sense? You're making all the sense in the world, yes. And that's exactly what I'm pursuing. I'm yes. pursuing something as just not a general, uh, generalized uh, LA Fitness or Bally's or Crunch, something that you just get the physical. You need, my gym is a yes. small boutique yes. where we are able to spend individual time with people okay. and get to know them. I want to take a few more minutes because our time is running out, okay. Carlos. I wanted to ask you, uh, where are you taking your business, the ultimate bodies from now, where are you in your life and where are you going to be in 2015? That's a good question. 2015, yeah. I'm going to be in a better position. Yeah. Um, I am actually um, thinking about really taking it on the road. Mm -hmm. I used to travel with a lot of my yeah. artists. I've had an opportunity of that coming up. Mm -hmm. I got a meeting tomorrow, one of the guys mm -hmm. from 112Q, mm -hmm. that he's got a business venture. Mm -hmm. 
So it's a lot of things in the works, mm -hmm. but far as me at this point, I'm not where I want to be. Well, you have great goals, great goals coming up this coming year in 2015. I have some goals too, and I will make a suggestion to you that we need to actually uh, talk about this wellness and this fitness, bring the society and the community involved. This is good for all of us. Love it. Okay, so I want you to uh, tell people where to find you, to tell the address and your phone number, your email. Okay. <laughs> it's all in social medias, right? Hey, <laughs> hey, if you Google me, you'll find me. Yeah. But, but we're at 1830 Pete Mud Road. Yes. And that's Atlanta, Georgia, yeah. 30324. And my email address is ultimatebodiesbycarlos at earthlink.net. That's great. Yes. Gr great. Thank you very much uh, for being with us today. I hope that uh, my listener, Im including myself, we learned something about uh, uh, about Carlos today. Welcome to La Vida in Atlanta. This is the health and wellness event expo. <laughs>